<laughs> Good morning. Just had another little sleep <laughs> on the couch here. Um, I've been awake since about 3.30 probably. I've got out of bed at quarter past four. I was just wide awake, so I thought I'd get I was just wide awake, so I thought I'd get up. And yeah, just about another 15 minutes or so. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling really great this morning. I've got a headache, fibro pain, normal fibro pain. I guess a headache's fibro pain too. Uh, uh, Christy's got an eye appointment. She's looking at having the laser eye surgery. So, well, I think right her appointment today goes well I guess she's having the laser eye surgery but she's going to see the ophthalmologist today Kevin's dropping her off so he stayed home and then we'll drop her off on his way to work that they have left I was going to pick her up but between me having this headache and not feeling great not knowing what time she's going to be finished exactly and the fact Kevin said I won't be able to like get there and, and park the minivan because the parking at this place is ridiculous so he just said to Suggested for her just to get an Uber home and we'll pay for the Uber for her rather than me having to deal with, you know, either. It just works out best for everyone, I think, I guess. Like uh, Christy can just come when she's ready and I don't have to stress about it or worry if I'm feeling worse at driving with a headache because I don't really like to do that ideally. Um, so, yeah. So, I really don't have anything in particular to do today. I was going to try and do a bit of dusting, obviously, walk the dogs and get dinner done. I'll just see how I go. I've got all day, so, oh no, I don't, because I've got the support worker coming this afternoon, but you know, besides that, I've, been, <laughs> I've got all day. I'll see how I go. Doesn't matter if I don't get anything done, I can find dinner in the freezer easy enough. And I can't remember what I was gonna say then. The only thing that would probably might not get done is the doggies, but Luckily, it's a lot cooler today. We're only going by 20 degrees today, so it's a very lot, much, much cooler. So I can, again, I can walk them at any time during today with a top of 20. I can, and I don't think there's any rain predicted. So I can walk them whenever I want. Like I'm standing here, these lights <laughs> too bright. So it's time for another cup of tea. <laughs> and back to the couch I go. And we'll see how the we'll see how the day plays out i guess <laughs> oh i also forgot to update you i think yesterday on where we were with our home contracts being exchanged they have paid part of the deposit or most of the deposit i think on the place but they haven't well one of us hasn't signed the documents yet i don't think that's happening to friday because obviously you've got to get solicitors organized so apparently what will happen is <laughs> if we exchange contracts on Friday, the real estate company will have someone down by our gate on Saturday at our open time, open day time, open house time to say that the house has been sold and there's no open house inspection on. So <laughs> that seems odd, but I guess at the last minute you can't notify people. And I guess in this business, you know, nothing's final until things are Jane, I mean, no, it's still not final, but most people aren't going to back out when they've paid a substantial deposit that they will lose if they don't follow through with the contract. So, yeah, so we're not sold yet, but we're very close to being sold. I'm going to go up and have a bath shortly. But I just realised I didn't tell you what I wanted to last time I picked up the camera. I was going to let you know that, well, Dad, Mum and Dad, I guess, have accepted the place down at Shell Cove. So they've got that apartment that they looked at. So I'm excited for them. Dad's, I said, yeah, are you excited? He goes, oh, I said, are you happy? Or he said, yes. <laughs> Mum was still in bed. So I don't think she's happy about it, but it, we know it'll just be the best thing for her. And it's so funny because she, she often tells us everyone that she knows that's had to move into, you know, retirement living or next level of care or whatever, they've all been happy. And they've all wished they'd done it sooner. So I'm guessing, based on that, Mum and Dad would be the same. <laughs> so they, find, they forget that they've told us that many times, like my grandmother, friends, and other family members, have all said the same thing. They wish they'd gone, in, wish they'd done it earlier. <sighs> oh, anyway, that's that's good. It's such a relief for myself and for Kevin because obviously at one stage there's only one of them left, and having them close will be a lot easier to 
help look after them, um, just to be there for them, visit them. I said to Dad yesterday, I reckon we'll end up seeing more of each other when we move because we have more time, obviously, less house to look after. So, and I'm just, I don't know, make more of an outing of it, I guess, make more of an effort because they're not just next door. Mum can't just visit the dogs out the gate, so we'll have to go and visit them or they'll have to come visit us. So, um, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm so pleased that they are going to be down there with us. Being an only child, obviously, you're all of the, you know, looking after, especially when Dad can't drive or whatever. Um, anything needs done comes down to Kevin and myself. <laughs> Not ideal, since both of us have got um, chronic pain problems. But anyway, it'll be a lot easier, since they're only just a few minutes walk, basically, away. <sighs> so that, that's really good. Good news. nice but I don't feel any better but still it was nice <sighs> at least I'm fresher and mm, yeah I don't feel any I was hoping to say my legs feel a little bit better from the heat which I enjoyed it while I was in there and I was feeling better while I was in the bath but now that I'm back out it's like mm, yeah nah. so <laughs> I don't know what to do for breakfast I've got the overnight from yesterday I really don't feel like them though but I guess I'll give them a go and if I'm just not into eating them, then I'll put them in the fridge and I'll get something else. But I was actually tempted not to even have a breakfast just to have some uh, like vegetables and, and hummus like I prepared the other day. But I'll try and eat this because obviously it's good for me. And <sighs> it's weird when I don't want it. Like, yeah, a breakfast is a meal I'm not particularly keen on. But um, it's not only not to want to have nothing, but that's why you should breakfast so late. But anyway, it's 20 past 11, so I'll go and see if I can make a little bit of headway with this one. And I'll probably work on editing some vlogs or watching some videos. I don't know yet. And then, yeah, I'm thinking not much is going to be achieved today, if anything. But I've still got the pressure on my head as well. It's okay, I've, I've been walked for the last few days, so I'm not going to complain if I miss an odd day or an odd day is a bad fibro day. That's not too bad considering. I don't like the yellow. Oh. Green would be much better, wouldn't it? Hmm? Green would have been much better. That's, that's, you've got to join the yellow and the green somewhere. But the green's just soft, I just like the green better. Coffee <laughs> dogs. Oh, the gate's there. Okay. The gate now. Oh, that's how fun now. See, no pop. I do think, I think we might have thought we should have gone green, but anyway. Matches that fence, I guess, but... Well, it matches your fence down there. I know. Clean know. Because you've got green there. Okay. It's just so bright, like it's just the sun's on it at the moment too, which is helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, massive. Um, yeah, but it's the gun, so it's got to actually get it back down. Yeah. It's short enough now, it'll just be off the bottom. So yeah. It's going to go into the...
you can probably gather, you'll probably have gathered correctly, that I am having a much better day today than yesterday. Feeling, yeah, I'm, I'm tired now after my walk, but besides that, well, my tummy was a bit funny on the walk. But anyway, <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday, which is the main thing. And I'm actually going to get up now and do a bit of cleaning, because... I'm still not 100% sure that we don't have an open day tomorrow. So I thought I'll try and clean downstairs today and then just leave upstairs to tomorrow. Because obviously upstairs is, can be very quick and easy. Just a little dust and tidy up and a vacuum. That's probably all I would have to do and a pinch upstairs. So because upstairs is, you know, we don't live up there. <laughs> this, <laughs> this room and the kitchen are the messy rooms because they're the rooms we live in at the moment. This one's got... Some remnants still from the just stuffed toy that Chewy did the other day. We picked up most of it, but they must I pulled out nearly all the stuffing. And he's still quite happy with his just stuffed sloth. But um, there's still bits that he must have pulled out a few more bits out of there. And then Coda was actually having a go as well, pulling bits out. So, yeah, I need to vacuum through here. And I'll probably need to do it again tomorrow. I'm not going to move all the dog beds out. Oh, no, I will, because I might not have to do any more tomorrow. So, I don't know whether to film for you or not. The cleaning, it's not very exciting, is it? And I'm looking a bit of a state after my walk. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to film. I might offset the camera. I'll go and get the little Osmo and offset it up. And maybe it'll inspire some of you to go do a little bit of cleaning as well. As I certainly find when I watch cleaning videos, that inspires me. <laughs> So I've been upstairs, I've cleaned upstairs, uh, well what I could, Kevin's got stuff all over the dressing table, or not. it's got a big box which is a fan to put upstairs, so that's still there, I left the feather dust, not the feather duster, I left my microfiber duster upstairs, so I can dust that, I'll take two seconds, when it's cleared off, I have vacuumed, I've done the bathroom, I just need to take the mop up I think, I'll just do a quick mop to the bathroom and that'll be done. I could probably get away with not doing it, but I didn't do it last week, so I will do it this week. And yeah, everything downstairs is done except for the kitchen itself. I have done the floor, and I can run the vacuum over that, but I've, there's not a lot of stuff on the, surf, on the surface at this stage. Obviously, we've still got a few meals to go before a possible open house tomorrow. Still on at this stage. <laughs> so we will see <laughs> what happens today. Um, yeah, just a bit of a hold up with the purchaser. It's not really quite ready to sign their contracts, so therefore they can't sign their contracts. So, um, yeah, we'll see how, how we get on today. So Kevin says we'll just put some pies in, so really just a quick, easy lunch since it is already 
and what well, I'm going to really need to do tomorrow, I'm going to try and clean the kitchen later on today, so I'm going to try and do that, because that's now not a very big job. If I don't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow, and then we'll have to spend a bit of time outside, because the wind and the dirt, so that'll be tomorrow's job, but mostly inside is done, and I can just do little touch ups like the dog nose kisses and, you know, a few little things, and obviously just to, yeah, but most of it's cleaned, so I'm, unlike last Saturday when I was cleaning and then rearranging, and then that was a lot to do, so I am pleased, considering anything done yesterday, I feel pretty good. I mean, I've just taken, like, I've done a bit of work and then taken a rest, so I'm pretty tired now, but I am gonna put the cleaning stuff there. I am still gonna try and do that later on. We're just having dinner at the freezer tonight, works on our freezer stuff and makes it nice and easy tonight. Yeah, getting there. Let's just, you know, fingers crossed. The contract gets changed, ex exchanged, signed, whatever. And then we don't have to do the open house tomorrow. That would be ideal, but we can't, we're on top of it if we do have to do it. I said to Kevin, it's not so bad. The worst week was last week, week four, when we had like basically three open houses within eight days. That was really a lot of work. <laughs> that was a lot. So three seven days isn't quite so bad but some of them having a good five break day which i have so far and obviously today we've got cleaned so that's done M mostly done <laughs> even if i have a bad day tomorrow just moving the furniture and stuff which obviously kevin can help me do or kevin can do so yeah it'll be fine i'm sure i'm gonna have a good day anyway it's open day day again I feel like I stopped vlogging at some point yesterday and didn't catch you up on anything but we have now someone eating their breakfast of course in behind me so I'll try and remember to update you a bit more later on as you can see Karen's just moving my car in at the moment I've already done upstairs and yeah it's not for a few hours still well but that'll go quick like three hours we'll go quick I haven't got too much to do, but I want to do a bit, have a rest, do a bit, have a rest, you know, like that, like I did yesterday. So I'm just going to bring the washing in from like two days ago, it'll all be dry. And then I can finish with the laundry, at least one room will be all done. flowers. <laughs> Christy was kind enough to go and get them. She was out for an appointment. I didn't think I was going to get three bunches out of them, but I did. I think these are, are these gerberas? I'm not sure. Pretty anyway. I just the same colourful. <laughs> they certainly are that. I think I can pack the beds up because they're not going to lie in them. Of course, they have to go in the double stack. They're very cute. They're over at Nana Pops now. <laughs> for our open house, what we do every time there's an open house? It was coming. Came late. Hang out here, yeah, the estate agent came late. She came late. Not unusual. So yeah. yeah. We're finally back from the open house, yes, many hours later. I mean, the, well, it's been a bit of a weird afternoon. <laughs> Went over next door for the open house after we got the house organised. And then at the end of it, we come over to meet the people who are probably going to, most likely, going to buy the house. Hopefully things will be signed on Monday. So Kevin could talk to them about, you know, the technological side of the house. And that was like last an hour and a half. <laughs> so, and in the meantime, we'd ordered lunch to have at mum and dad. So then we went back to have lunch like at 3.30 <laughs> with them. So we're just getting home now, 10 past five. I'm going to the doggies their dinner anyway, so I'm going to do that. And we'll have our cup of tea <laughs> and 
getting our house back in order for us. Hopefully, that should be the last open house. We are very much over it. It's been a bit of a funny day, but yeah, ready to relax some more now. But yeah, we had a nice lunch and a nice cocktail with mum and dad, so that was good. Put look at the poor plant. He's been having a good old munch. I don't know if he's got any friends or not. I looked the other day, I couldn't didn't see him the other day. But wow, that's good camouflage. But I'm sorry, mate, we're gonna remove you from my plant. So we're gonna do with you. Yet. Good um, good afternoon. <laughs> if I haven't, I might talk about some excited doggies and just get ready to take them as you're going to the park. No, the dog park. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to pick up our groceries on the way home. I've got my backpack with all this stuff and they are ready to go in the car. Mm. You guys are ready to go, aren't you? I'm just waiting on Daddy to get dressed and get ready. He's been having a sleep. I've been working on my new puzzle. I was still waiting for Kevin. This is my new little puzzle. I think I showed you the border, didn't I? So I ended up just leaving the board. He got eight on the border. So I just packed up this stuff yesterday and just dropped the board down for the open house. Hopefully there are no more open houses to be had. <laughs> Hanging out, sitting on the ground. She wants now. to go, but I think yeah. we need to give her a rest. So, so puffed. Kevin throws the ball a lot further than I do, it makes him run a lot more. I'm getting all dribbled over. The bucket's too big, the bucket of water that's too big for us to get our groceries and for 
what I used to do this is pick them up, take the dogs to the dog park and then come by and pick them up. What's that really well? You might help me. What a good boy he was. <laughs> Mango salads for lunch again today and I make sure I make Kevin a smaller one today. So he's got a more less of the salad base and more of the toppings and I've got more of the salad base and about the same amount of toppings. <laughs> Coda spotted himself, but he's frozen. <laughs> I think it was going to be a bit late for, for a change. Usually it's running late. <laughs>